sun. Like, he would be almost moon. We was already sick of him. And we quit. The doll made a form of energy. We not have made since she sent us. I was so furious, but sick and green, and none but food to wear. Oh, cast it off. It is my lady. Ah, it is my love. All oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eyes discourses. I was her. Ah. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in the heaven, having some business to shade her eyes, to twinkle on their spheres to their return. What if her eyes were there? There in her head, the brightness of her cheek would chain those stars, as they light that a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy reaches stream so bright. The bird would sing and think of one at night. Ah, see how she leaned her cheek upon her hand. Ah, oh, that I wore a glove upon that hand. That I might touch that cheek. Um. She speaks. Oh, speak again, my angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Therefore, I thou, Romeo, denied thy father and refused thy name. Or thou would not be but swan, my love. I'll no longer be a Catholic. Shall we hear more? Which shall I speak of this? It is the thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, but not a monster. What is a Montague? It is her hand, her foot, arm, her face, or any other part belonging to a man. Or be some other name. At which he called rewards by any other word was not a speak. He wrote me your good, or he not wrote me your call. Retain that dear perfection which he authored that title. Wrote your of thy name, and for thy name it is no part of thee, yet all myself. I take thee at thy word, call me but love, and I'll be new but us. Henceforth, I'll never be Romeo. My ears have not yet rung a hundred words of that tongue's address. Yet I know the sound. Are thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair saint, if either they dislike. How canest thou hear the yours with walls are high and hard to climb, and face that if any of my children might be here? With love's like waiting to sit at all the lodges wall. But for thy kids better know that to me. They do see thee, they will murder thee. I have nice slope to hide me from that side. Uh, but thou love me. Let them find me here. My life will be better than by thy hate than death from all of thy love. Does thou love me? I know that it say I. It is thus where it's the main for faults. Or death from me, if thou does love, then I'll speak for you. Lady, but you are not the Oh, swear not by the moon, that money changes in her circle of all. Let's let thy love go, thy voice only a go. Then, what shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or oh, thou it. Swear by thy precious self, which is cause of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. With my heart, we are loved. Do not swear. It is too rash. And it right. Sudden, sweet good night, is but a flock. By summer's happy breath, I come of your test flower or lazy. Would thou so leave me so satisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? Patience of thy love, faithful work for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst to have it, and yet I would it but give again. Would thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be friends and give it thee again. Julia! I know I'm good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay with a little. I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night. I'm afraid being in night. 
Oh, this is about a dream. Yeah, Romeo, if that tavern of love be honorable, I propose marriage. Send me one tomorrow, but I want an opportunity to come to thee. Madame! By and by I come. A thousand times to them. A thousand times the worse to want thy life. Romeo! My dear! <laughs> I thought of what tomorrow shall I send to thee. I thought of mine. I not tell. It's twenty years till then. I have a good why did you call it that? Let me stand here till I remember it. I shall forget. Well, please do stand here, remembering how I love thy company. And I still stay, so I please to forget. Yet I shall kill thee with my cherishing. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow, but I shall say good night to the thing all. Draw upon thy eyes, peace in thy breast. Hence we write to my ghostly father's cell, his help to grave and my dear help to tell. The clock struck nine and I did send a nurse. In half an hour she promised to return. But she cannot leave me. She slain, thus her up to be thought, which ten half past the clock, then the sun sleeps. Oh honey, that's what news. I am a baron. I have my bones. And thou hast my bones, and I thy nails. What case? Do you not see that I am out of breath? How art thou out of breath? When thou hast breath to tell me that thou art out of breath, is thy news good or bad? Oh, Lord, how my head is. My back! Oh, the other side! In vain, I am sorry that thou art not well. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. Tell me, it says my love. Your love says, like an honest little man, and a courteous, and a kind, and I wear as a watcher's. Where's your mother? Where's your mama? <laughs> Why is she sitting? Where should she be? How all is that reply? Your love says, like an honest little man. Where's your mother? Is this a poor time for my aching bones? Henceforth, do you must set yourself. Oh, come, what's this from you? Have you got it? 